There was only one thing you could cheer us up on the march, that was singing. But we'd always go into something we didn't fancy. I don't think I've got much of a voice for singing, but I try and sing one or two of the choruses we used to sing. We're here because we're here, because we're here, because we're here. We're here because we're here, because we're here, because we're here. The guy singing in that recording is a British World War I soldier named Edward Dwyer. I've been thinking about him a lot recently, mostly because a hundred years ago, on November 11th, 1918, World War I ended abruptly. Someone recorded what it sounded like from the front lines. I think the people who took that recording and the people who preserved it wanted to draw attention to how quickly the gunfire stopped. But I think about how soldiers on the front lines had to hear this. almost incessantly for four years. We're here because we're here, the song Edward Dwyer is singing in that clip as a protest calls out the meaninglessness those soldiers were feeling. And a hundred years later, of course, the nerdfighter community has used the song to discuss the meaninglessness of obsessive thought patterns. But we should also think about what the soldiers who sang that song were thinking what here was for them. In another part of the clip, Edward Dwyer says that he and other soldiers on the front lines often had to march more than 20 miles a day. In other words, here was always changing. Writing and singing songs gave soldiers some control over their environment. It gave them a sound that was constant and that wasn't gunfire. But that control had serious limits. World War I generals allowed soldiers to protest through songs and even through satirical trench newspapers, but they couldn't use those protests to bring an end to any of the violence. In fact, that song Edward Dwyer was singing was recorded for British enlistment services. Dwyer himself was not a veteran when he was singing that song in the recording. He was still a soldier, a 20-year-old soldier at that and he didn't live to see the end of the war. He died in 1916 at the Battle of the Somme. As we look back on the hundred years since World War I ended and ahead toward 2019, let's think about the ways we're in control and the ways we can use that control to help those that aren't. We see far better off, far better off, far better off in a home. Here we are, here we are, here we are again. Hello, 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 hello. Here we are, here we are, here we are again. Hello, 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 hello. 